back into game we go. Game two here. And of course, you know, you're talking about this mid lane matchup. So Mail also on about 100 ping. GPK with a slight ping advantage there as well. So samael has got something to blame it on at the very least. As Madara up on top lane, the Morphling facing off against the Meles Tusk. Should have the help of... Um, I mean, who's going to help Madara? Is it going to be the No-Tail Earthshaker that goes top? Who's your support Ooh. in that top lane? Weaver for Saxa, maybe? He's got Headdress. It is a 3-3 three, three off lane gen. Dream on the Gyrocopter, next Assassin FNG with Vampire Phoenix and the mid lane up for GPK. If needed, No-Tail can rotate to the top lane. We see this build more often on Earthshaker instead of going for... You get Ring of Bassy, you get Clarity, and that's a lot of mana sustain in the laning stage for you, for your partner. Nice Fisher block. Nice Shikuchi coming in. Fisher stops Dream from grabbing the bounty rune for a couple of seconds. And Saxes Weaver, he goes and takes one, and the three for one exchange as Madara does take a bit of a beating here from the tank team of Melas. Turns and fights though. Gets the clicks in as Saxa's arrival will be able to focus down the tusk a little bit more and get him out of this area. Get rid of those odds as well. So Earthshaker Chen down bottom lane. I guess no tail spend a lot of time kind of stacking. Nah. Building up bank, building up Chen creeps. Doesn't feel like he can accomplish a lot down here until Chen gets a couple of levels. And he's going to be blocking out this large camp. Sentry down. Block the pull camp as well if he wants to stand in there because he's going to obs in between. What's he doing? Dragon wave. Hello there. Taking tower hits on his way through. He doesn't block the pull camp either. We've seen that from quite a few teams. Just taking the creep wave, but he's not going to do that. So he wants to bring the lane back to Chen. Where your support, usually position 4, gets like a full wave between tier 2 and tier 3 tower. And denies a whole wave. How's mid lane doing? 8-1 on GPK against 5-1 on Smail. Remember, Smail is playing from US, which means that he has around 100, 100 plus ping. Doing pretty well for himself though. Burning through some tangos. Definitely needs that regen. And 3-3 three, three down bottom. Harassing with a range creep. 31 damage. No tail taking the outpost. And Dream having to contend with that wave in behind his own tier one. So Gambit set up the 2-1-2. Two, two. Phoenix putting pressure onto Madara's Morphling, but he's farming away free as you like. Sax's Weaver will also Gonna pull across here. Maybe feeling the vampire is gonna try and drag this large camp out. And Madara's already shoved the wave pretty hard forward. Samael taking a beating. GPK just giving the clicks. In a pretty timid laning stage here so far. Now it G. becomes harder for Smail on the mid lane, like GPK will be the one controlling the runes, also getting close to his bottle. Well, he needs to hit the stun, but every single time Smail gets close, he gets a couple of right clicks, he gets Dragon Slave. He gets stunned up and loses about 200 HP, 300 HP. Under the tier one tower, a nice ether remnant, Sumail. He's got to dissimilate and he'll dodge the light strike array, going for a kill on GPK. Oh, GPK, you've overplayed your hand. Sumail. Absolutely godlike plays, hiding in that tree. He's Man, getting the turnaround kill on 100 ping. Under getting him a kill and nicely placed Aether Remnant. I mean, the, this game just shows why Smail is one of the best mid laners in the world. Yeah, that 1-1-1 one, one, one build. Maybe not expected by GPK, who for sure was expecting to take down the Void Spirit there without much of a turnaround. As top lane, Melis getting jumped on by Madara Sax, a snowball back to the large centaur. And Melis will be all right for now. Sax, are you going to Shikuchi to steal this? Huh? Doesn't even bother. No, just like, <laughs> I'm going to click the Phoenix instead. Come on, vampire, let's have a go then. Show us what you got. 
Well, you know that Weaver's gonna go for that kind of a play to steal it. Now he's gonna block the spawn, might even get a kill. Madara. Waveform, dive in two seconds. Verify already popped, and there's the kill. Madara gets it. Invis rune for GPK mid, not found by No Tail, who is scouted by the Radiant Observer Ward now. So they make a play in towards bottom. FNG with a stun, but Dream not really following through here. Double range creeps, they're trying to focus them down, but 800 HP apiece, pretty tanky boys. And a good D ward there by Earthshaker, actually. So his rotation is no longer going to be spotted. And OG yet again. A very good start to this laning phase. Gambit just don't seem to have any of the answers. Even when they have the lane matchup mid they wanted. Even with this early kind of pacing hero gyrocopter. 3-3 three, three is going to go back into jungle. Get his helm of the dominator. Come out of the jungle and say, right, I'm ready to push towers. No tail is going to get a bit of free time for his blink dagger. As FNG having a bit of fun with no tail there. Grabbing the bounty rune under his nose. As top lane Vampire trying to dive away, gets out of the waveform. As Madara and Saxa really sticking it to them. And a, a, a long wave drag back by Meles should be contested by the Weaver. Oh, he's, he's skipped out his actual wave and he's gone under tower. He was not feeling safe there at all. Well, let's see how many CS can he get under the tower. Two out of two so far. Two out of three, three out of four. Oh, the high rolls from the tier two. Uh, ah! <laughs> oh, I, I, was, I should have stopped watching him. Oh, no. As soon as you watch a player start to do that, you know they're going to start missing. Big F. Capital F in chat. 3-3 three, three, zoned away from his triangle. But I don't think he's too bothered by that. He can just go back to the western side of the dire jungle. Giving Dream a good amount of space down in that bottom lane to push into the tier one. Carapace, FNG with a two-man stun. Ether, Remnant up and ready for Sumail. We'll be able to catch the next assassin as the Light Striker Ray, Laguna Blade. Dragon No Tail into the grave. GPK at least gets a trade. Man, it must be so demoralizing for GPK. It, like, you know that you should not lose this matchup. You should not get killed. But you should Look be at the CS, it. 27 against 14, 12, even with that first blood. So he's going to refill Lina's bottle on the mid lane. No tail will do the same thing. But how do you stop this 3 3 Chen now? He's got Helm of the Dominator coming. And you know how potent this player is on a hero like Chen. Morphling is going to get a lot of space while they probably just group up around 3 3 and start running at their opponents, OG style. FNG Full with a good helm mode. completed, plus level 5. So now you have Alpha Wolf and Helber Smasher. Look at the damage on these creeps. 23 plus 27, more than 100% increase. That's huge. And Royal Jelly dropped for him as well. Oh, he doesn't oh, even he take it. No, oh, no, it's unwritten rule. You need, if you find the jelly, you can be the bear. Like, you can take it. Yeah, I genuinely am surprised he didn't take one of the charges. So I guess he's giving giving a one to Morphling and then one to Void Spirit. Yeah, Sumail has it in his stash. Poor man shield up for the Chen as well. Sends that back to the stash. As Morphling, Madara, Waveform onto Vampire. A couple of... Wait, not even a couple of hits. One hit. Takes down the Phoenix and a well-deserved tip there. Melis doesn't even feel like he can stand his ground in this lane anymore. Shards the block off Madara. Melis trying to drag Wave. He's going to get a couple of creeps, but not the full wave of creeps there. I never tried to take both jelly charges. Is it possible? Probably not. No, you can only have one. You can only have Good one. Good catch yeah. on Sumail, but Astral Step gets him out Malice. of danger. Rolls in. Feeds with the courier. Oh, dear. This, this top lane, man, Madara's Morphling, that's probably his best hero. And look at the start that he's having. 4K Level worth. 8 Morbid Mask, which means that you don't have to go to base ever unless they kill you. I don't know what they're doing with this offlane Tusk. It could have been any other hero would do the same thing. Yeah, it really feels that way. Gyro, Agnum Scepter queued up. Treads double Wraith Band. No Mask of Madness coming out for him. Melis is dying top lane. Madara's just going to get a solo kill. No. No waveform, no adaptive strike. No kill. 
And it's GPK's that rotation. Royal jelly. Madara. This is a big kill if they can get Morphling, 600 HP. Invis GPK. Oh, misses the light strike away. Madara. Oh, dearie me. GPK. What a blunder. Void Spirit's rotating top now. Nothing's GPK. going well for GPK. 1,000 HP. Are they going to try and dive this? No Tell gets a D ward a little further back. Nyx and Phoenix holding out in mid lane, but this Dar Observer Ward on the high ground should scout out GPK now. Bounty runes in 30 seconds. That's why Sumail's up top. They want to try and contest these ones. Well, 3-3s three farming jungle. Sack such a Kuching all the way across. They know exactly where GPK is, but what's the gap close right now? Fisher into Shikuchi with Astral Step. GPK is getting himself just close enough to his tier one and the rest of his squad there to stay alive. But the Centaur army, three threes arrived. It's time to play around our Chen. GPK getting full on dived. OG out of nowhere. All of a sudden, you've got five bloody heroes on top of you and GPK must be tilted out of his poor little boots right now. I would be crying tears. And you have five units from Chen. Plus, you have Hand of God, the survivability that he brings. Like, this is just a free tier one tower for them. The way OG plays, it's just on another level, their understanding of the game. And they always adapt, like, quickly. They have their own style of playing Dota, which others don't understand. Oh, and they're stealing stacks as well. Like, that, that kind of move. They know where the Lina is, and they know that maybe they can kill her, but they want the kill and then the tower. Connecting it with the Chen so much stronger as GPK sticking around for his large cap. Swarmed up and Sumail jump forward. The Remnant misses. So now a difficult target. GPK under his tower. Pretty safe and sound. OG disengaging. Sumail looks all right. No tails bailed away. And Madara just shoving that tier one top lane. Sumail very deep. One man stun. FNG catches on to Sumail, but the LSA doesn't land. The Dissimulate back out. Dodges from GPK. Madara and Sumail with the other Astral Step. GPK, he's being annihilated. Madara gets the takedown. Tusk and Nyx in trouble now with Vampire diving out of danger. But uh, no tail. He's got a good Fisher. Lines it up onto Meles. A three man impale from FNG buys a bit of time, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to get them out of danger. The punch does very little, and another jump in. Dissimulate forward. They are obliterating Gambit. Madara goes down to one HP. He is taunting them in front of their base. One to nine. Just, OG is styling on him. I would not be surprised if Gambit just taps out after like one or two more fights like this. Morphling is getting way too much. He turns into Tusk. It's a perfect Morphling game. You can turn into Nyx Assassin, Tusk, Gyrocopter, whatever you wish for. At least Dream is farming quite nicely on the gyrocopter but the snowball potential he's gonna die OG's lineup three, three. He, he's gonna solo gonna kill, solo kill him. him uh sumail get it no, no sumail leave leave it uh he's picking it out <laughs> <laughs> he's like yeah i could have done it alone absolutely absolutely could we've seen what this man can do up against you know the anti-mage farming jungle if you've not seen that clip he solo oh, kills mech. oh maybe now he'll drop though a step too far from three three does pop the mech like you mentioned has the creeps to try and get him out of danger Unable to save himself, but no tell. With a two-man Fisher and Sumail's follow through, looking for the kill on Vampire. Dive on cooldown. So the clicks come, and Sumail will finally find that kill as no tail solos out FNG. Madara and Saxa both arriving on the scene of the crime, and they want bonus kills. The cherry on the top is going to be this Tusk. He's got Snowball. He wants where's, <laughs> where is Memes going to, going to Snowball to? Nowhere. He's done for. Now the Phoenix Supernova is up. He is level six. Forced to use the glyph. Man, Morphling's going for it. Straight into BKB. He bought something else. Dragon Lance. Magic Wand. Dragon Lance. All right. So. I don't even know why I'm opening fight recap. It just says OG are winning. All the <laughs> <laughs> it's worthless. Top three net worth all red. Dire Heroes 13 to 2 and a 7k lead. OG Dire most certainly ahead by all the metrics. Bottom no tail doesn't even care attack. blink dagger right now he's got lots of little items tranquils wind lace he is just a roaming fisher he lands stun and teammates kill when you're playing this kind of earth shaker i would prefer to have at least second point in fisher just to lower the cooldown and increase the stun duration 
The Yule set Another still smoke. pretty distant for the lean out, and you're right. In comes OG. Tusk in a good position here with the Phoenix to break the smoke as No-Tail goes high ground. Next Assassin stun onto the Chen creeps, but he's netted up. Centaur Stomp won't land. And the snowball back from Meles. This fight pretty disjointed, but OG, they all gather up on the one target they can find. Gyro. They can go Roche. Like, OG can just go into Roche, but... Oh, Gyro's in trouble. He didn't TP. This means Sumail here with the Remnant can cancel TP. Dream with that homing missile. Dodged out with the Dissimulate. And that Fisher catches the Gyro just in the nick of time for OG to swarm around and Echo slam him down. And you were mentioning Roshan. I think it might be time now, Lacoste. Get into the pit. Slay the big man. And 33 was ready to go into Roche pit, but grabbing a kill on Gyro, I would say, is more important. Even though he has farmed a lot, just 400 gold away from that Aghanim Scepter. That's going to help them a lot. Bounty Rune spawning in 10 seconds. Yeah, 33 once again. Pinging out to Roche. Wants to take it out. Bugs plus all these summons. Nice Fisher block. FNG gets a Bounty Rune. The only positive thing going Gambit's way in the past 15 minutes. Excess Vampire looking to swing in towards Roshan. Oh, don't be too harsh on them. They were positive for feeding and tilting. Okay. Oh, that is true. Well, I do have to take those stats into account. Lacoste, thank you very much. Imagine if you had a football manager, but for Dota 2 players, and you know their stats pushing, ganking, and then mental temperament, tilting and feeding. Meles, Meles. shard blocking himself to try and get away from the grasp of OG, but they are just picking them off one by one. Gambit, don't even get a spell off in that team fight. No cooldown. Oh, it's still on cooldown, and Supernova. Level one up for Vampire, having a really rough game. Hasn't been able to use it yet. Oh, GBK. Is he okay? <laughs> There's no stun uh, here from Weaver, so GBK can just TP out if he wants to. Sax is toying with him. Running circles around that Lena. You know you're having a bad game when your position four is just completely harassing you. How are we item-wise? Neutral items, Ocean Heart, Void Spirit, PMS on Morphling, Dragon Scale Chen. Oh, Madara. Looks like he's fine. Three kills now for Gambit. OG just need five more and we hit the meme. Let's go. Golden number. I believe in OG. If anyone can do it, it's them. Agadim Scepter up now for Sumail. So the two charges on Resident Pulse with the silence up. Going to be huge against heroes like Lena and Phoenix. from Mixus Vampire. I don't think they care too much. There's Catapult approaching on the bottom lane. With 3-3 three, three, Zomi. About to hit it. finish Vlad's as well. Oh no boy. tail peeping. Madara what half HP. No three minutes on the Aegis on Morphling. Stun into cooldown. They're trying to clear this army and doing a great job of it. 3-3 even using mech and hand of god. But the jump in from Sumail, catching out Nyx. Blow up FNG, but no, not quite. Finally take that Nyx assassin down as the Yule stops the snowball stun. Sumail's still going to get LSA tagged, but that Ether Remnant down just in time for no tail to miss the Echo Slam. But Saxon's dive, looking to kill off the Lina. Does have buyback. The time lapse out means Sax is still up and running. GPK tipped and buys back. Yeah, if there was no tip, he would not buy back. <laughs> Madara uh, here. They need to defend. Still holding Aegis. I think the Morphling can dive with the Void Spirit now. Take out GPK. A die back inevitable as the Supernova is zoning them away from the fountain. They go two man stun out from FNG. Catches the Weaver. Shikuchi be damned as Sumail also falls. OG. They lose three, but the Aegis brings Madara back as the buyback from Phoenix will return him to battle. And Barracks still standing here. As OG committing a little bit too deep. Madara has he played, but he's on pretty much max strength now. He's trying to shift down to Anji so he can get some more damage as they hold the high ground ramp and look to turn back in towards Meles. Excess Vampire. And in they go with a couple of clicks. Madara baiting, toying with Gambit now. They've got themselves a potential Spirit Vessel target here in the Morphling, but a good enchant totem. Where's the Fisher? No Tail still holding on to it. Now he gets the two-man stun. Madara struggling to stick on a target, though, as his damage is lacking. One no tail HP left alone. On Madara. Weaver and the full stick off now. He's almost full HP. Yeah, to be honest, I don't think OG needed to dive the fountain. Instead, they could have easily taken the Raxes, but this way, game is more fun. 
It sure is, and now you've got a double damage rune on Sumail's Void Spirit. Morphling into pretty much Max Agi now. Could go looking for a pickoff, and buybacks were expended pretty heavily by Gambit there. Lena and Phoenix. Pretty long cooldowns. Got a TP back in. OG, you want to secure that lane of barracks. Try and put this game out of contention for Gambit. Gyrocopter with Ags Maelstrom working on the BKB. Feels like their only real chance here is this Gyrocopter, but when he's swarmed, surrounded, blown up with no buyback, the one real chance that Gambit had is now dead for 50 seconds. I was about to praise Dream for playing so well, getting a ton of farm. Like, he is extremely farmed. Maelstrom, full Aghanim Scepter, does not have a buyback. Uh, FNG, just trying to buy some time. <laughs> five heroes. Imagine OG, five man strong, chasing down one poor little Nyx assassin. They've got the bug spray. They're chasing the cockroach around the kitchen. Radiant FNG Radiant. manages to flap his wings and get back into the fountain, but they've lost the barracks bottom. There is no defense. Mid lane, they can swing in there as well if they really want to. That DD on Sumail expiring now, but GPK is miles away. Starts his TP back. Gyrocopter now alive. The jump in from Sumail, though, catching FNG. Annihilated by that Morphling. And 3-3's army ready to bring down yet another objective. The structures, they are a crumbling. What an aggressive performance from OG. A lot of things. They want the gyro. They know there's limited buybacks here from Gambit as Sumail, very tanky with that double resonant pulse, starting them up, and there's no BKBs here from Gambit with no tail arriving. He gets a great Echo Slam. OG forcing two more buybacks. Gyro did get his off. Must have got just enough gold off the back of that fight as Morphling back in again and Dream. Really, he's just going to sit in fountain at this point. Meles, one versus five. He's got the world on his shoulders, but GG is cool. Dream is the last one standing, and he is the one to call it. Gambit tap out. A 2-0 victory here for OG. Two 20-minute games. Very speedily dispatching with Gambit and putting their chances of the playoffs pretty much out of reach.